This meeting is being recorded, which means please don't say anything stupid. This is going to be put on YouTube uh, as well as on my blog. Normally, my other meetings are uh, somewhat private uh, or not even totally private. The nature of the internet is that whatever you say is public. Uh, even if it's in a private group, just be careful. Try and make comments that your grandmother would be respectful of and we can go from, uh, from there. I'm sure we're gonna have some more people coming in. I wanna predicate the meeting by letting you know a couple of things. First of all, I'm not a computer scientist. Um, what I'm about to talk about is likely going to be obsolete fairly soon. A lot of what I'm saying is going to be obsolete. Um, and so you might say, okay, he started the meeting out giving us the bad news, why should I listen? The good news is I'm having a phenomenal effect with this uh, new and emerging technologies in the growth of my business. I know a lot of you here are real estate agents. Several of you are not. You're just either in sales or very curious about AI. Uh, so you know, I have a weekly think tank called Rain Nation. Many of my members are here right now. New members have a monthly subscription cost of $20 per month. Um, that's something that if you'd like to sign up for it, please put... Um, Make some comments in the chat. My producer here is Nate Daniel, and he'll be able to give you instructions as to how it happens. We're really trying to, uh, that those funds, by the way, go to get other people to administrate the uh, meeting itself. So it's not a profit center for me. It really is something that allows us to grow this out and to do really great things. So with that said, we're going to move on here. Who's done something pretty cool on AI? Who's done anything uh, even not so cool. What, what are you currently using ChatGPT for? I know it's a bold question. No one wants to be first, but I really hope that somebody gives me a break and doesn't make me pick on uh... everything. Okay, Victor, go ahead. Well, I just found the one thing I like it for is just is get is uh, asking it to ask me stuff. Um, it, it's good for coming up with, you know, social media questions and things like that. The data I, to me is being, I find a lot of inaccuracy. So it's, it's good for, for starting points for things, but you've got to be willing to do some research and check things out yourself. I mean, I, I had it as a test, do a bio of me based on what's out there. And if I had done the stuff that chat TV does, I would not need to be selling houses anymore. So the, uh, the, the, I, I wouldn't say that it's, a, it's the most accurate in terms of a lot of information. It, it, it is, and I'm going to teach you now in some of the prompts that we put in. The meeting specifically is about the prompts. Uh, there's a saying in, in video editing, garbage in, garbage out. It really does apply to AI. Uh, I had lunch with my dear friend Tinka Ellington yesterday, and she said, but how? Where is it coming from? Everything ultimately got fed in by humans somewhere along the lines. And humans have biases, and they've got uh, flaws and they've got opinions that they oftentimes put out as fact. And a lot of times the AI does pick up on this. There's gonna be a huge debate in the future as to how we clean that data. But let me, um, I'm gonna show everyone just a couple prompts in a minute. I just wanna see if there's anyone else who's got some commentary uh, about what their experience. I think somebody was trying to speak before. Uh, again, I'm trying to be as judicious as possible in leading this meeting. Anyone? Anyone? Okay, we'll get we'll get to good, some good stuff. If you have questions, please do. Uh, hey, Evan, can you hear me now? Uh, uh, Eddie, Eddie Glance in the yeah. Delta, North Carolina. How are you, buddy? Yeah, sorry, I was trying to chime in, but my microphone wasn't picking up for some reason. But anyway, I use it for two things. One is kind of done, which was my bio on my website. Um, so I used it for that, and then listing descriptions for all of my listings or property descriptions for the listings. And I just find you know, I put in what I want. You know, kind of the 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 bullet points of what I wanted to say is far more eloquent than I am. So I've, been, I've enjoyed using it. It's been helpful. Good. Okay. I, I, I'm glad that you're, uh, you're using it and using it to some effect. Let me share with you a couple of the outputs that have actually come out. We'll talk about how I actually got it to create it. Yesterday, I thought, wow, I live in Florida. It's hurricane season. Wouldn't it be great if I actually came up with a, um, a guide for uh, for hurricane preparedness. And so one of the things that I did, and of course I'm not pulling it up on the screen just yet, I will be able to put, Ari, if you could put it in the chat for me, the, uh, the last, uh, 
uh, folder. Hold on. I'll get it in a second, guys. Don't try and adjust your television set. This is just Ed trying to fix things here. Um, but yeah, so essentially what I had done was we created a, um, a hurricane preparedness guide. Maybe I'll find it in my, my folders here. Okay, let's see, let's take a look. No, it wouldn't be that. Uh, swear to you guys, I had it up a second ago. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up in a second. RA, if you could just put it in the chat. No, maybe. Okay, I'll pull it up, I'll pull it up in just a minute. Oh, it, it, Frank's got it. We got some people that it was actually sent to. Sorry, guys. Okay, Ari, right, you could actually email it to me if you don't mind, that would be great. Uh, so yeah, so I created a, a, a hurricane preparedness guide. And one of the things that I was actually asking was what do we really need for that? So I went into chat GPT and I said to them, uh, I said to the, the AI, um, I want you to act like a real estate agent concerned about their clients in South Florida and help me create a hurricane preparedness guide. I am going to input prompts into you to have you create that guide. Now, here's the important part. Pay attention here. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, I understand. I'm a virtual real estate agent. I can assist you in creating a hurricane preparedness guide. By the way, ignore my spelling mistakes because this will correct it. I'm like, terrific. Can you write uh, a 10... 10 points, every Florida homeowner should be prepared for during a hurricane. Okay, so here's the points, stay informed, develop a family emergency plan, secure a property, Okay, so now it gives me all the stuff that this has actually come up with. Now, if I like it, I could start to go and say, terrific, write a 250-word essay on item number one. Okay, so now it comes up with all the things that it might want to do. But wait a minute, now I'm a really nice guy and I want this thing to give great information, but I also wanna get business, right? We're real estate agents. We want people to know that it came from us. So can I say something like, um, can you rewrite mentioning that the Edmund Bogan team at Douglas Elliman Real Estate uh, put this guide together. Okay, so now it's added the little plugin and it's got these little things. Basically, you're following your nose throughout the process of what you want written. And when you actually have that process written up and you actually have stuff that people want to see, you're going to be able to um, uh, come up with it. Thank you, RA. He just sent me this. And now I will show you what the output is. We don't need to go into it. By the way, this was the hurricane preparedness guide. I took about 15 minutes yesterday to put it together. And it's not perfect. That wasn't the point of it. I wanted to do that for this meeting. I took the points that it actually had said. And the images, by the way, were also developed. These don't exist in the real world. Some of them are somewhat humorous, but it actually came up with this content. I generated the content through a prompt to one AI, which is um, ChatGPT. 
And then there's another AI called Mid Journey, where we're able to make these really cool images, like here, evacuated necessary. Now, I love dogs. I see Ingrid's on here. We both have a thing for dogs. Everyone should love dogs. Otherwise, you know, life's not as good without a dog. But Ed, I got the picture of the fireman reading a manual while there's a fire burning in the background. <laughs> where was that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we can have all sorts of stuff that, that puts it in there. It's a humorous way to actually get the words uh, out there. And now I've been sending this to people who I've sold homes to. I'm sending this to people. It's now something that was put together really, really quickly that has had a profound effect on being able to communicate just what it is that I do. And that's just one way that we do this. I'm, at, I'm talking a lot. Do we have questions at this point? No questions. Nothing, we've got messages here. Okay, Syosset Office is using property descriptions. Yes, that's great. Daniel's put the uh, file up for people to see. Um, do you pay for chat GPT? Yes, I pay $20 a month. You don't have to, there's a free version, but my I use it so much that it's worth it to me to pay the difference. And we're gonna go into what the link is. Actually, uh, Daniel, if you could put the link on the chat for people to see, so that they could sign up for it, that would be great as well. So I would appreciate it. There's one other thing that I'm using ChatGPT for. Now, again, there's mostly realtors in here. I said to myself, I'd like to use it through Facebook for data mining. And what we did was we created a group, um, which I'm working on with, with Maria, who's part of my team, who works very, very hard on this. Uh, new to the Mouton slash Delray Beach and the surrounding areas. I want to point out that we now have 1.4, uh, one, one, what do we have? We have, we have almost 1400 members. Keep in mind, we just got this started. We've had seven new participants wanting to join today. And they're prompted to ask uh, a couple of questions. Here, this person, Francesca, she's planning to move here and here's her email address. Okay. I'd say that as someone who's leading a team, giving this to my team members, that's kind of a gift. I know my team members are listening here, but it's kind of a gift. You see this person, she wants to move to our area. She's given her, her information. We have her contact information. How huge is that? How huge is that from a selling standpoint? So anyone curious to see how I did it? Yep. No? Okay, we can skip it. Yes, here. yes. Okay. Okay. I'm curious. So here's what we did. We went to, to Facebook and created the actual group. Then I went to, um, I went to ChatGPT. We'll take a quick peek at this. And I said to it in, um, in the chat, sorry, there's all these things that are actually in the way, create a new chat. And I'd say, tell me a, uh, you, you know, you know what, I'll say something. Else. What's today, the 14th, April? 14th in Florida history. Okay, 19, uh, 1565 Spanish Explorer. Look at this. Oh my goodness. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know if, I don't know how they were able to make it for this particular date. In 1865, Union troops under the command of General Cook captured the Confederate Cal. Okay, so that's kind of weird. The first flight in Florida was made by an aviator. Okay, that I like. So I'm going to take this now. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna say, make a fun Facebook post with emojis about this. So now, great, I've got this little fun fact about this first flight. And I'm gonna take this and now put it into another AI, okay? So here, the prompt that I'm taking goes into something called Discord. And that was Donald Trump as a bar lifting weights, just to show that I have a sense of humor. Okay, and I actually put that in there, but now it's gonna give me four images based on a text-driven prompt. So uh, 1910 first flight in Florida, let's see if, because this might come up with some text or something. Okay, actually that might be. 
Okay, I tend to doubt that it was a seaplane at that time. Remember I told you it's imperfect. I tend to doubt that that was what actually <laughs> happened. If you don't mind muting yourself, that would be great if you're coughing. So terrific, here we've got an image that's about to be produced, comes up every few uh, seconds here. I like this one personally, where did it go? I like the, I, you know what? Yeah, I like the first one. It's got, uh, I, I like the third one. I like the third one. So I'm gonna get that to actually make a bigger image of that. I'm gonna go over to my Facebook group. I'm gonna go to Community Home. I'm gonna put the post there. And when this actually creates it, it's gonna take a minute. When it actually creates the, the image, I'm gonna then take the image and put it into Facebook. So now what you're seeing is content that will never ever run out because you know you could find things like, there's always National Dog Day, which I personally love and Ingrid loves too. Um, there's, there is Christmas, there's Hanukkah, there's Passover, there's things that might've happened that are traditionally going on. Uh, like there was a great, the, the, uh, the dining out in Delray. Ingrid, what was that called? The dining, the uh, taste of Delray or something. Wasn't there like, it was some, some taste of Delray. And so you're able to actually play up the different things that are going on in your communities. The reason that it could work from your standpoint, from somebody who's trying to leverage AI, and again, I'm not a computer scientist, I'm just a sales guy. But the reason that you're able to do it is because we really, really need content. People are content driven folks. So here, let's go back to that image. So now I can make a bigger image of this. I could cut and paste it. Now, who knows? This is, this is a fantasy picture because I don't think that that accurately represents what was going on, but it doesn't really matter, right? Because what I'm doing is boom. So there's my post. It's gonna take a second. So there's my post. So now you see this is the content that we've needed and we see that, that people are going to be able to chime in on it. And based on the commentary that people have, based on the questions that they have, we're able to do what's called data mining. Let's not make it too difficult, guys. This is not something that is so challenging. This is just being able to say, how do we have a conversation in these times with people that's going to allow you to give them something to build a relationship and to build trust? That's what AI is allowing me to do. Now, there's a lot of other things that we're going to do with prompts, but again, I don't want to talk too much without opening it up for some questions. Anybody think it's cool? Anyone have questions? No, yeah, it's very cool. Very, very. In the easy. Question. Okay, we have uh, Leslie. Hi, Leslie in, in Charlotte. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm super analytical, so this might be an annoying question to most of you, but um, when you put this together, like um, the text and mostly the uh, graphics, do you find you have to reduce the size or? Um, do something like that. Yeah, that's past my pay grade too. <laughs> but, but that said, yes, you need to play with it. It, it does okay. produce things that don't necessarily make sense. Also, um, like the guide you created for hurricanes. Like the guide, sometimes it'll say things that don't, like here's another thing that, that I could do. I'm, I'm bored, I wanna make a post for something. It's Sunday morning, I wake up early with my dog. And I'm thinking, I'd love to do a post today. What are the best places to have brunch in Boca Raton and Delray Beach? It actually gave a lot of great places. Here's the thing, two of them have closed already. So it did not have that updated data and you need to kind of be aware of it. So once again, gotta be clear, it's not perfect. It's very imperfect. But I think if you utilize it, you could do some really cool things. Let me give you, uh, Anyone else with a question before I give you some really cool stuff right now? Yeah, was it Discord that you used for the graphics? Yes, that's Discord. That's me. Okay. Would you mind sharing your screen again uh, to what sure. where you had it? Discord that? No, the page uh, where you say new to Boca Raton. Oh. So. Yeah. And I put that, uh, again, I change the image every day. 
that might not be what I want to convey to people moving to Florida and getting them to sell things, but I, I put it up. So, you know, what I, oh, and here, by the way, in the time that we were speaking, somebody else uh, 23 minutes ago asked to sign up. They said that they own. So again, my team will research some of these people and see what we could actually do with them uh, and see if we could go. So a couple of you said to me, well, why would you tell all the realtors about this? Here's the thing. I believe that knowledge is, um, is simple. I believe that ideas are free. I think that uh, Mark Zuckerberg, when the Winklevoss brothers sued him because they said that they, he stole the idea, they would never have created what, Mike, uh, what Mark Zuckerberg did. They wouldn't have done it. Executioners are needed in this world. People that actually get the job done. Because I hear so many people with some of the greatest ideas that they don't do if you could get a great idea and beat me on something, I would be the first to salute you. I really would. If you could come up with something and actually, if, if, um, if Zainab in, in Miami, if you came up with something similar that actually put this out and really won business that I'd love to get in Miami Beach, man, I would be the happiest for you. I, I, I'm, this is to me like a tennis game. You know, let's, let's not hate agents. Let's try and actually be in support of one another and see how collectively you're able to grow. Also, so many of you are in so many di different uh, marketplaces. Um, let me show you a couple other prompts that I think you're going to like. Okay, so, and if you'd like a copy of my prompts, I made a thing here, a whole bunch of prompts that I created. You could create them too. Act as a top clinical psychologist, you will analyze and chat with me about issues that I bring up, channeling thoughts of inadequacy, blah, 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 blah. As a corporate attorney dealing in real estate license law, as a personal operations coordinator, as a non-licensed physician, you will showcase your expertise in identifying complex medical conditions. Okay, we're going to go through some really wild stuff. As a top sales trainer, we can actually have a dialogue with the world's, like pretend that you are a, a, a very hard customer, you should role play with this. Yeah, I, I, and now you might think you wanna send me to the guys with the white coats. I talk to my computer every morning, trying to role play or get a different edge on what's going on. Um, how about this, a home inspector. You have issues with a particular home, you could actually throw it out there. Or over here, I've got as the broker in charge of our real estate team. This was something that I threw out there for myself, for my team to actually role play, or if you have questions. But there's one other that I wanna show you that was kind of um, inspired by, um, uh, by some brokers that I know. Um, where was it? Side hustle, prompt creator now. Please do not replace the virtual AI broker with your real broker. <laughs> yes, do not replace your virtual AI. Well, in Ingrid, can I show virtual Ingrid or, or do you not want that? Well, you could, but that's not really Ingrid. So okay. you, know, you might get the wrong answer from virtual Ingrid. So yes. you might want to call the real one. Okay, so it, it, just for those who don't know her, Ingrid is wonderful. She's, uh, she's had such a profound impact on my uh, career and for everyone else who works uh, for her. So I decided to create a virtual Ingrid, which is not Ingrid. I'm gonna turn this off here. Look at me, it's, it's not, it's Ingrid's over there. It's not Ingrid, this is, this is something else. So this is just something for, for everyone to just be aware of. But this is some type of ideas that you could get from the AI if you are on the fly and have some questions. Let me just show you what we do. I put this in, in this role playing, you engage in a conversation with Ingrid Carlos, manager of two Douglas Selman offices, blah, blah, blah. You oversee the people, you've grown, you've got vast expertise in everything. You answer to Jay, the CEO of Douglas Selman. You know, all of this is virtual. And it explains that you're a motivational speaker, cheerleader for everybody. You, you're an avid fan of Jimmy Buffett. You know, I, I put all the stuff in here that I believe would be, uh, would be Ingrid. And it's a moving target and it's not Ingrid. So there, I said it. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a new chat here. I'm gonna put this in as a prompt because I gave it some marching orders. 
And at the end, I end it with, do you understand what I've asked you to do? Let's see. Yes, I understand I will be engaged in a conversation. Let's see, it got it wrong. No, you are acting as Ingrid. I am the broker. I am the agent. Do you now understand? I got to see where, where I went wrong. I might have changed something. Yes, my apologies for the confusion. As Ingrid, I understand that you are an agent and I will be in a conversation with you. Please let me know how I can assist you. Who has a question about real estate law, about clients, about sales, about something that you could put in very simple terms that I could actually put down to ask, not Ingrid Carlos, but the virtual avatar that I've created. Who's had an issue with a buyer? Come on, you gotta be brave here. I know a lot of questions that I could ask, but who's had some type of question about real estate law, some type of uh, national associations of real estate policy, anything? This is a How about asking the difference between doing um... Uh, uh, doing real estate in California versus doing real estate in Florida. Okay. I mean, as an agent. I, let's see. Um, but yeah, I want to give it just three points. Could I do that? Uh, Victor? Sure. It, you know. <laughs> it's your show, Edmund. <laughs> Can you tell me three differences uh, doing real estate sales in Florida versus doing real estate sales in California. Now, Victor, we didn't plan this, right? Victor went away. No, we didn't plan this. We didn't plan this. And it could be, it could fail like a lead balloon, but I just want to see this here. Okay, certainly. As manager of real estate office, there are three key differences I can think of. Contract closing, Florida, the contract and closing process is typically handled by attorneys. That's actually not true. While in California, escrow companies are typically used to facilitate the closing process. I think it's, Ingrid, you want to chime in on that? Property types. While both Florida and California are known for the luxury real estate markets, the specific types of properties that are popular in each state can vary. For example, Florida waterfront properties and golf courses communities are highly sought after. Uh, and then they have something on climate and environment. Okay, so you stumped them. I think that it actually- I try. So let me just- kind of, Are I mean, you sure about answer number one? Upon further research, and as far as it was typically handled by title companies in California. So it does make mistakes. Here's the thing, it's getting better and better. I'm, thank you, Victor, for making my first thing like a flop, but I love you for it. <laughs> Who's got a question about- real I've got a question that I Googled this morning. Okay, hold on one second. We, we got the real Ingrid, go ahead, real Ingrid. I said, this is why AI is not perfect. And even though you can rely on it for simplifying your life in many ways of the way that I've used it is I, I put something that I've already written into it and it rewrites it for me very colorfully with beautiful synonyms, replacing other ones. And it really helps to get the point across, but you have to understand that this thing is not updated. It makes errors. So you can't rely on it specifically to give you the correct answer. You have to continue to research. So hopefully there won't be a replacement of the real Ingrid coming anytime soon. It, nothing would ever replace the Ingrid, nothing. <laughs> uh, Eddie Glance in North Carolina, you had the point? You had a question that I was gonna be able to ask? And ask it about um, who has standing to sue over deed restrictions that are violated. Who has standing over Say that again. Who is standing to sue over deed restriction violations? The answer to this question can vary depending upon specific circumstances and the language of the deed restriction question. In general, deed restrictions are enforceable by the original grantor. Are we close? Yes. As, as well as by subsequent owners of the property that are subject to the restriction. 
Additionally, in some cases, homeowner associations or governing bodies may have the authority to enforce deed restrictions, blah, 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 blah. Was that, was that from your standpoint, how was the answer? It's right on, right in line with what I've found other places. So it's good. Okay. Let me give another prompt. We'll give Ingrid Carlos a break here. And I will give, uh, God. Hey, hey, I, I does it, a quick does it recognize specific businesses? Does it recognize specific? It, okay, here's the thing. I, 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 I can give you an example. Okay, Leslie. Um, like five reasons you shouldn't sell your house to open door or why the Zestimen is inaccurate or something like that. You want to try that? Let's try it. Okay. Yeah, I like that. In fact, I'm going to let you give me the uh, question. Say that again, Leslie. Uh, 10 reasons why you shouldn't sell your house to open door or you shouldn't use open door. Can you give me 10 reasons why a, can we say a realtor is better than open door? Yeah, that's good. good. Opendoor.com, right? Uh-huh, <clears throat> yes. Okay, and it cranks it out pretty quickly. Personalized service, that's great. Okay, knowledge of the local market. Access to off-market properties, that's a big one. Assistance with negotiations, help with financing, market expertise, legal guidance, local connections, emotional support. That's been a big one of mine lately. And then fiduciary responsibility. So they might be fairly obvious, but I, I like the fact that you asked that. Why doesn't somebody throw out a question about like, you know, somebody said something crappy about you to the to another person or, you know, ask about like NAR, code of ethics, this thing's got it all. Anyone, anyone, Ferris Bueller, Ferris Bueller, no? Okay, let's go on with another prompt then. Um, let's do, uh, let's do a physician. As a non-licensed physician, you will showcase your expertise in identifying complex medical conditions, okay? This discussion is solely for informational purposes. Do you understand? Let's take a look. As an AM model, I'm not a licensed physician. Or however, I can provide general information. Okay, so that's their little disclaimer that has been programmed into it. Who's got a medical question? It doesn't have to be anything that you're going through. Who's got, somebody throw something out. Mark Lawrence, throw out a question for me. Help me out, brother. Yeah, uh, what, what, is, what, what are likely these large raised warts on my foot uh, between the toes? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> damn. Okay, let's do this. What, what are, what are large, raised warts on my, uh, between my toes. I think it's a staph infection from the gym, Mark. <laughs> Large rays are typically caused by human papilloma virus or known for uh, plantar warts. These warts can be painful and uncomfortable, blah, 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 blah. So give that. Give that. Who's got no, I just one? gave myself a doctor's visit. And well, then I could ask. Well, what, no, what okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. And this is being recorded, and everyone knows this is not a doctor. This is not a replacement for it. It's for informational purposes, and I think you just really need to be aware of that. But you could go into much. I had someone this morning talking about her husband's heart ablation, and she was like freaked out that it gave the exact same answer that the the doctors were giving. So you could use this for that as well. You could also do something more interesting if you wanted to use it to write a CMA. You could take property 123 Banana Street, sold for a million dollars. It's a four bedroom, three bath ranch. And then across the street was another one. And it could put the whole CMA together that you could actually using the prompts. If any of you would like my copy of my prompts, do um, comment in the chat and uh, Daniel will take down your names and we will email it to you. If you could just put your email addresses in the chat, we will be able to get that out uh, to you. The point that I'm making with all of this, and I, I, we're gonna be finishing up in a couple of minutes, is this. 
uh, th this is changing the game as far as real estate is concerned. This is something that you need to either get on it or get out of the way because everyone is actually doing this. I've figured out how to generate 40 people a day that I do not know uh, how to get them to join this Facebook group. And my sales team is working very hard to identify what we could do with those people as far as sales go. But Ed, most of those people probably aren't real or they're just renting or they're not. Yes, you're right. Most, most we're, re we're real estate people. We're realtors. People waste our time. Isn't that correct? Not wildly. People waste our time. We need to fight to stop our time from being wasted. But I've got to tell you, using these tools will allow you to get a much better handle on, um, on being able to, to get uh, and close more business. Okay, so- Hey, Ed, Ed it's uh, Frank Costelli from uh, Long Island. How are you? Hey, Frank Costelli from Long Island. Good, how are you? A lot of my agents are using it for uh, property descriptions. And, uh, okay. Like you can give it an address of a certain area and it'll just populate some great stuff for you. But again, before you post anything, you shouldn't uh, uh, paste it and then uh, post it. You should really review it and put it in kind of your own words too. You know what I'm saying? So don't take everything into, into whatever it, it gives you there. So One of it, the it's a great little tool. It tells you a little uh, about different areas if, if, it, if you're out of the area. And it's, and it's a great tool for my agents. They use it for a lot of different things, even on their bios. Well, yeah. and does, do any of you have foreign clients? Nobody does? Okay, well, I do. So let's say you have a client that's from Russia and you translate this into Russian. Okay, can, what about Chinese? How about Chinese? Oh, that's great. Okay, how about French? Okay, maybe something that people say, Spanish. Now let's see if it picks it up just by me saying Spanish. Okay. So you see, you're actually having a chat with this. I think part of this is really coming up with the methodology for how to use these uh, AIs. And what I would argue is if you put the right prompt in, you're going to get a much better answer um, than if you don't. If you, if you just ask questions, you will get answers. But if you're able to really truly guide it, and every time you create an account and log into it, it begins to build a familiarity with you. It begins to get an understanding of who you are so that it's able to um, uh, make reference or it starts to react as you and as the questions that you've asked in the past. So again, garbage in, garbage out. If you wanna focus on a lot of negative stuff, then it's going to grow to be, uh, it reminds me of that toy they had years ago with the little pet thing, you had to take care of your digital pet and if you didn't, it would die. What was Tamagotchi? It? Yeah, something. It, it something like that. Actually, I have another question. Going back to the Ingrid uh, prompt that you had about all her information. So obviously part of this is what you're asking it. And then the prompts is part of what you're defining it, you know, as far as, you know, the information or teaching it. Um, I noticed that, right, you save some prompts and conversations. Does it save all that information from all of your, from your account? Or no. do you need separate chats? Or do you need to, re you know, put in the prompt in a new chat that, you know, that's where I'm not clear exactly. Yeah. As of right now, because, and I've been told because it's growing so rapidly, um, it, it's not saving anything. It's also changed. One thing that I was able to do, which I can't do, I did it a few days ago. They won't let you do it anymore. I was able to give the link to, um, uh, to a PDF file of a blank as is contract for the sale and purchase of real estate in Florida. And I did this again after I spoke with Ingrid when she heard about a story of some, the real Ingrid, when she heard about a story of some agent who manipulated the text in one of the as is documents and did it in the same font. And she said, wow, this is horrible. It's not even illegal. It's a terrible thing. You can now check and cross-reference two documents to see that they're both the same, A, and B, if you have any real legalese, somebody, I spoke to somebody who's getting divorced, you could actually upload your 
divorce papers there. If you have a legal question, you could say on line 127, what did it say? And it will say what it said on line 27. In layman's terms, can you explain to me what that actually means? And it will explain it to you. And once again, I predicate this in saying it's not perfect, but it's getting closer and closer every day. And it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. So those are the, uh, the comments. Uh, okay, 12, 13, I do wanna get, get going in just a couple of minutes here. Is there anybody else who have uh, questions? So maybe we could replace attorneys at some point in our lives? <laughs> you know, I, the sad reality <laughs> is, and people could argue with this, um, some, some computer scientists believe that 40% of American jobs will be displaced in the next 15 years. Um, I, I don't want to spend too much time on the ethical or moral side of this, because again, I'm not, in, I'm not qualified to talk about ethics. I am saying that if it is a reality, and it is, and it's here, and it's staying, because if it's not going to be open AI that creates it, somebody else is going to. This is out there already. You better take time to get to know this stuff. And with that said, I'm going to be revisiting this on a regular basis. For those who are not in Rain Nation, uh, it is a, a, uh, a think tank that I produce. We're now charging $20 uh, per month. You can drop in uh, anytime and drop out anytime. It's a great group of people. We've got many, many people who are here. Just a show of hands for some of my Rain Nation people. Okay, we've got some Rain Nation people in here already. Is it, what, is it worth it? Definitely. Yes? Okay, definitely. Okay, Absolutely. So we're, and we're using that to keep, we've got uh, Daniel who works constantly and tirelessly to try and connect everybody. Many of you have been able to make some great connections and make some great money off the leads that you made. And certainly there's the peer support and advice I'm not going to let this technology side go. We are going to revisit this at least once a month as things change. If you have thoughts or comments, please do bring them back to me and let me know. Um, other than that, I'm grateful that everyone came. And please, if you do want to give it a few more minutes, if you do want to be added to our list, please do put something in the chat right now so that Daniel, my producer, will be able to, um, will be able to get your information. And I am giving the Californians a break now. I'm doing this, uh, you know, every now and then we've got these uh, uh, midday, uh, midday events or for you guys early morning, but I am grateful that everyone came. Fabio, I wanna catch up with you after this in about 15 minutes, if it's at all possible. I love you, it's so good to see you. And, uh, and thank you so much for, for coming to another exciting episode of Brain Nation. Thank Thanks, you, Edmund. Edmund. This Thanks, was great. Edmund. Thank you. Thank great you. job. Thank you. Bye. Take care. I mean, I've paid for translators to translate brochures before. So this is going to be a huge saving. It's going to mess them up. That's yeah. Oh, definitely. There's a, there's a company called TransPerfect that uh, basically is a multi-million dollar company and they translate legal documents. Yeah, this could put them out of business. Yeah. Yeah. It, again, it's not, a lot of people say, well, it's not perfect. Of course it's not. I mean, we just got it this year. But, you know, yeah, but the just, more we use it. It'll it's like be. the internet. Can you imagine what this is going to be in a year from now, three years from now? Oh, yeah. not, I, I didn't even you know what's you coming. Go ahead. I was going to say one of the things that's, that's right now, you know, chat GTP is running off a, uh, a slice of time of the internet from a year ago or two years ago. So, but uh, now that Google's also working on their version that's that's tied into Bing for their search engine, it's going to be able to, to uh, you know, spider search all of Google's information. So that information will be more up to date than, than what chap D2B is. So that's going to, and that's rolling out in beta right now. So we're going to see a lot of shifting uh, because they're going to have more up-to-date information. Of course, open AI has got to do the same thing to be competitive. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're right at the beginning of watching these, uh, you know, the, the information wars start. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty, stuff. thank you. Edmund. Pretty wild stuff. Okay, guys. This will be yeah, on my call. blog and on YouTube uh, in a bit, a little bit. So thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Thanks. You too. Bye. Nice to see you all awake. <laughs>